Ring him, you. Is that my water? Can you throw it at me? Nice. My hand's gonna start trembling at some point. Oh yeah, Parkinson's. Yeah, just Jesus. just a slight case. My buddy just recently uh, didn't know the guy he was talking to had Parkinson's, and it was the first time he met him. <laughs> and he walked up to him and he was like, "Hey, man, what's shaking?" <laughs> He's like me. <laughs> How you feel? I'm scared, bro. Why are you scared? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like I said, I I might get out of pocket, but I don't want to. That's okay. That's okay. I I was worried when you said that because I was like, I don't want to become that show that people are afraid to go on. No, I'm definitely okay because I get I feel comfortable around you, around the guys here, but I'm worried about. I'm scared of myself. You know what you are. What? You're a good hang. Good hang. You're a great hang. I First time I met you, I was a... like, this guy's a good hang. Okay, okay. I can hang around this guy, Dope. can have some beers with this guy. <laughs> I could say whatever I want around this guy. But he gave me the N-word pass. So did I? Yeah. I'm glad I did. Yeah. I'm glad I did. Did I just outright say, I was like, no, what? Just crank it right now. Yeah. You're like yeah. hard R2. <laughs> 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 Honestly, like especially if I'm drinking, that shit makes me excited. What hearing? I don't know. Say the yeah, it's hilarious to me, or or their reaction if I ever said it. I've never right. said it. That's a lie. Because okay, no, because I was I was talking to a friend of on mine. tape, but like okay on tape, <laughs> but like you know they record like you know Xbox parties, PlayStation parties. You're going to tell me that while you were playing video mm. games I don't and know. someone beamed you in the dome <laughs> from however far out. Yeah, especially if it was a... Coming down to the wire, at the center's end, and Rich Strike is coming up on the end zone! I never played video games until the pandemic, really. Dude, you sound like you play video games. Really? I hear your voice. I'm like, this guy's insane. <laughs> you would hear me on, on the mic and you would be like, yeah. yo, this guy's going to snipe me and call me yeah. a dirty... <laughs> I, I, I just can't say it on camera. That's crazy. <laughs> If the cameras were off, hard R would mm. would have flown right there. But yeah. um, yeah, no, I they are. We're not going right now. Oh, we're not going right yeah, now. Yeah, we're just, okay. This is a practice. Okay, this round. is practice. This is perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Because okay, then I would have called you <laughs> a dirty nigger. Can't believe you fell for that, man. <laughs> it's a great hang. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what when I'm saying. you first said "great hang," I thought you were like talking about uh, my dick or something. Oh, I've never really heard hung, that. Hung, yeah. Oh, yeah. hung, yeah. That boy well, that's well hung. I just didn't think we would talk about that. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I fucking never played video games, and then when I actually was exposed to people in those parties and mm. <laughs> shit, they would say. <laughs> yeah, no, I know what you mean. We've all been around. Yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, yeah, I guess I, 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 I didn't um know that it was a real thing. But I would assume that you would have said it over. I, I, you think I'm a guy that would? You gotta let it slip once, man. Live a little, you know. Yeah. Kids are still making fun of like the word "gay." Like I see, I see TikToks <laughs> out there. There's this one TikTok where this guy is like, not guy, it's a kid. He's like, oh, like Johnny likes Sarah, and he's like, no, I'm not. He's like, oh, are you gay? And he's like, no, I'm not gay. And I was like, kids are still kids, bro. <laughs> yeah, I get, I get, like, okay, because I would, I would, I, I feel like I would still say that, and up until I was like 15. Yeah, but then I was like, oh. Shane Gillis is bringing it back. Who's that? He's a comedian. Okay, he just always says gay. Like every his every tenth word out of his mouth is gay. Shout out Shane Gillis, I guess. There's a comedian in Ottawa that just said the N word on stage. White guy. Okay, how'd that go over? It split the room in half. I wasn't there, but I heard it was like some people were like, what the fuck? The club owner got mad at him. Because they got their first uh, one-star review after that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Was it Laugh Lounge? 
Yeah. Oh, wow. That was yeah. their first. Yeah. Because the club owner was just in here talking about how they, they haven't had one yet. Yeah. Yeah. He was, he had, mm. we did a podcast with him two weeks after. Yeah. And on the podcast, Gotta he scratch was like, that clip, we've never gotten a one star review. I'm waiting for it. He says, I'm looking forward to the day we get a one star review. And then Shane Gillis saw it. that shit and he was like, oh, <laughs> we'll get these motherfuckers. No, he's not an N word guy. He did make fun of the Chinese, though, and got fired. Shane Gillis? Yeah. From SNL. Yeah. From SNL. Yeah, he got fired. Damn. Yeah. I feel like you have to try to get fired from SNL. Not anymore. SNL sucks now. Never really got into that. Yeah. That's one thing. I feel like I'm... I don't watch a lot of shit, and I don't experience a lot of shit. You're not tapped in. I don't think I'm tapped in. I was never on anything. They always make fun of me. Shit. I was never on anything. Like, remember when I had the pop-up here? Yeah. Um, you guys were fascinated by the amount of movies that I haven't seen. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I was also fascinated by the fact that you hate Seth Rogen. Because <laughs> you are Seth Rogen. <laughs> You're black Seth Rogen. <laughs> and I almost ruined a beautiful, newly uh, formed friendship over that comment. Because <laughs> you were like, fuck you. This guy's a good hang, but he hates Seth Rogen. Yeah. Cause you are Seth Rogen. I don't see. I don't even know Seth Rogen that well. So I don't. I like. He's pretty chill. Something. <laughs> you've had him on the pod. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. There's. Like, look at your shoes right now. Your nails are painted. You have the same kind of like humor. Once we get to know you a little bit, I feel like the audience will see that. But like, I feel like <laughs> it's just the laugh that's missing. You are him though. Okay. See, I take I take offense to that almost. Why do you take offense to that? Why do you hate him so much? I don't think I genuinely hate him, but I think it's the laugh that actually kind of cheeses me. Yeah. It feels a bit forced sometimes. That's what I'm saying. I saw this clip. I don't know. It was GQ video or something. He was trying snacks or some shit like that. Right. <laughs> I love watching those. And someone broke it down into however many times he laughed. I'm like, yo, there's no way that you laughed like that every time. Yeah, but maybe he's just like super anxious and shit. And that's what he does to like. If I'm anxious, like I shut up or I like do like pants. a little. Yeah, that too. Or I like let out a little girl giggle. Right. Yeah. Not a. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, dude, <laughs> come on, <laughs> the resemblance. Every dude. time, bro, that was so spot on. That was good, man. <laughs> that was good. Not Every your time, case, like man. I'm tired after I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it 17 more times in the same interview. Yeah, I'd KO. I'd be. Oh, he must get a good laughing. heady though. D's head rush from that laugh. Maybe that's why he does it. Yeah. Fuck, I don't know. I sound like Seth Rogen when I get angry. I got called out on it because I got really mad at someone and I was like yelling and they like started laughing because like you sound like Seth Rogen right now. I couldn't see you getting angry. Right? Yeah. Well, I'm Italian. Oh, your hands get angry. Oh, I thought you meant like I throw hands. Yeah, but I feel mm. like whenever you get angry, you then hear yourself and then you start doing Sebastian Maniscalco. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, that's, what, that's when I'm fucking around. That's when yeah, I'm fucking no, around. No, but I feel like even then you'll like start to get annoyed about something. <laughs> and then you'll be like, you'll turn it into a bit because you like can hear how you sound. <laughs> that's tried to do that. Like I just don't fucking get it, man. These fucking guys, like, <laughs> like immediately. Where are you gosh. fucking shoes inside? Like I don't know. I can't do. I can't. It has to be genuine. That's in what the I moment. mean. It has to okay. be like, you should tr try to get me mad at some point today, and I'll either turn into Seth Rogen or a Man of Scale. What pisses you off then? <sighs> Gay people? No, I'm kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. We were talking about it. It's a callback. I got to be careful, man. We just posted something to get some hate on. Would you rather have a trans or down son? <laughs> I feel like downs would be more fun. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. We had a conversation about it after. Yeah. 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 Don't show it. <laughs> I'll throw in a clip. <laughs> but it was a fascinating fact that I dropped on you, and you agreed with it. Which fact? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no, um, I was with I was with one of my boys, um, CGB. Can't go broke. Shout out CGB. 
maybe I'm throwing them under the bus here, but no, I've for some reason we we're looking up facts on people with Down syndrome. Oh god. And yeah, maybe I should stop. No, 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 it's okay. Keep going. We'll, we'll, we'll bleep it. Bleep this entire section. Black people with Down syndrome have way less of a chance of living past Getting jobs. Oh. Probably. Fuck. I don't know. Like what? I don't know. What were you um, going to say? But uh, way less of a chance of living past like their first year of life. That's why you never see any. Never see any, dude. Yeah. I think I've seen like one. Funny thing, though, like the next day after we talked about that. Oh, yeah. you, you sh- Yeah, that's right. That's did right. I send you the video? You did send me something like that. I don't, I sent, I don't think you I sent, sent me the video. I sent, it, was like a, it was like a TikTok or a reel right, or yeah, something yeah. of this black dude with Down syndrome whipping like an old school Cadillac. It was sick. But was it the guy from Forrest Gump? Yo, I've never watched Forrest Gump front that's to back. That's right. You're not on anything. Yo, there is a funny story that happened to me in a Walmart like last week. All right. I love this transition. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this was at like, um, it was a little later at night, but it was like a Wednesday. It wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't anything crazy. That's when, was you, grabbing least, like when you least some, expect it, man. Yeah, it was grabbing like some snacks and shit. I was going down the chip aisle. This like, big husky black woman came like not sprinting but (laughs) jogging up to me it was a sprint for her she had like a pink like my little pony backpack on wait okay (laughs) yeah how how old did this person look she had to be like probably like late 20s mid to late 20s like not not super old but you could tell like she's tweaking a little bit off something but and she had a pink my little pony backpack yes and she was sprinting at you not sprinting jogging sorry light jog towards you light jog um up to me and gets like this close to the side of my head i was looking at some chips or something and she goes how big is your pee pee (laughs) and like i looked at her and I burst out laughing because I was like, yo, there's no way that that just fucking happened. <laughs> but then, you know, we were still like doing our thing, whatever. <laughs> did, she, um, did she say anything? What do you mean no. you were doing your thing? Who's we? So I was I was with... Well, I showed her my pee-pee. Yeah, I was going to say. Like, <laughs> you can't no. just skim over the rest of that. <laughs> so I was with someone else and like... Yeah, we just finished what we were doing there. We were we were getting our groceries, our snacks, or so whatever. Um, and then, so like we were leaving the Walmart. It's dark outside, and then I hear footsteps behind me. And you know, <laughs> you know, in like the sound of a backpack like jumping on someone's back. Yeah, I hear that coming from behind me. <laughs> and then she goes, "No, no, no!" But for real, how big is it? And I turned around and I was like, yo, you need to go the other way, please. So they do exist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they do, I guess. <laughs> but she was like, like, she was tweaking off something. She lo- like, you know, when people are tripping and they look like they're in pain. Oh, yeah. Because when I told yeah. her to like dip, she was walking away with her fucking backpack on and she was like, it was bad but yeah did you give her an answer though no and i was kind of pissed that i didn't because i could have either i could have went either way i could have been like yo it is this fucking big nine feet long actually (laughs) yeah you got a yes and in that situation yeah i I just i want like i'm dying to know what her response would have been I know. Fuck. I know. That was a missed opportunity yeah. for sure. Like I should have told her that I needed to like tuck it in my sock or else it would come <laughs> on my pant leg. <laughs> but like. I can't wear shorts. So. Yeah. Or I could have told her like. The real answer. I don't have one. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> good. That's, that's good. Which yeah. is the real answer. <laughs> but yeah, bro. I don't know. It was, it was weird. It was super weird. <laughs> Shout out to the South Keys Walmart. Well, speaking of being racist, let's get into the news. Yeah. Um, first headline we're going to get into. 
we already kind of talked about this. Um, you know, how you feel about white people saying the N-word. You know who... So there's a story of Pierre Polyev, the opposition leader to the liberals, leader of the conservative party, going after Trudeau. He's always on six buzz when there's, there's videos of like, oh, Trudeau He's got, got the big owned. ass teeth and the tattoo on, tattoo no, on his neck? No, he's got like a slick back hair. No tattoo on his neck. Mm. But he... Uh, oh, this guy? Yeah, this guy. You're talking about? Okay. Okay. He ac yes. accidentally, accidentally said the N word while offering uh, condolences in a speech. You want to play the video? <laughs> Let me offer my condolences to the family of Hardeep Singh Niger, Niger in the loss <laughs> that this represents. Wait, play it again, please. <laughs> Let me offer my condolences to the family of Hardeep Singh Niger, Niger <laughs> in the loss that this represents. That one was a little too clean. <laughs> he wrote it down and on he, that. he, he was, was like, smooth with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was he saying? Like, okay. <laughs> nigger. <laughs> That's all I heard. So he was trying to say, no, nah, I'm going to say it back. He was trying to say <laughs> That would be fucking so great if he did, though. <laughs> Condolences to the family of Hardeep Singh Nidger. Ni what's the spelling oh, that's on his that? Name. What's Which the spelling is, on that? Uh, I think it's just N I J I R. He's probably pronouncing it wrong, too. Like, There's a J? If it was a G, like, ah, uh, fuck, maybe. Yeah. Um, but so if it's a J, he was being diabolical on that one. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. It's a J. Anyway, he's um, he was offering condolences to the family of a, a Sikh, Sikh um, man activist in BC who was um, allegedly assassinated by the Indian government. Mm. It's like a big international incident. Everybody's talking about it in the House of, House of Parliament. Um, and this guy just yes, painted the N word on it. <laughs> Dude, my favorite thing about this video is just nobody reacts. There's no wait. Can, can, can we replay it and keep an eye on the black woman? Yeah, dude, it's an unreal. Oh shit! Family of Hardeep Singh Niger, Niger in the loss. <laughs> She's like, she I low key looks like the <laughs> she low key looks like the lady that came up to me and asked. <laughs> <laughs> not a si no, no She's movement. thinking about how big his pee pee is. De yeah, she, she wasn't even she paying was attention. Just, she was at the South Keys Walmart the night before, and she's just like. I gotta stop doing crack. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hit the brakes on on my usage right now. Oh, I don't know how uh, I would recover from that. From the N word thing? Yeah, like if that was me. Because when I hear someone say that, I'm like, I don't know if I buy into accidental slurs. No, I, I guess I buy into it. It's just like, why is that word even like <laughs> in your head right now? Why was it in the chamber? <laughs> yeah. He was definitely uh, saying, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> See, don't that's, say what, it. that's what probably don't fucked him up. It. Yeah, and then he did it. Like, that's definitely what happened. I just... He it, caught he it was quick, too. with it, He though. caught it quick. That's a well-worn linguistic <laughs> pathway in that man's brain. If he's that smooth with the pronunciation and everything. Crazy. Yeah, it... <sighs> I wonder if it would have been better if he just said it and like committed to <laughs> what this is that pronunciation, <laughs> right? I thought that's how it's. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Only if there's a G in it. If it's N I J, that's something. True. It's definitely N I J. N I J. Oh, he fucked up, bro. Yeah. This guy just saw N N I and saw red. <laughs> he starts getting a nosebleed. He's just like grinding his teeth. I'm gonna say it. I would. I would respect it more if he just went with it. Yeah, the fact that he was like mm, no, and then <laughs> is like if he, if he just played like pleaded ignorance, being like, oh, I thought I just pronounced it wrong. Yeah, then it's like a genuine mistake. But the fact that he walked it back so quickly was like he took his opportunity, ran with it, and backed out like a coward. It's like people trying to trying to hide their fart with a cough, you know, mm. and they just go like. <clears throat> it's like you didn't try to fucking hide that you yeah mistimed it if anything you just drew attention to it i think the cough forces it out more <laughs> i feel like it would have been a little bit yeah. less on the vibrato 
<laughs> you didn't cough. Yeah, you flex your core a little bit when you're <laughs> when you're coughing. <laughs> yeah, <and> it just <laughs> <laughs> and it's physically impossible to do both at the same time. Cap. You think so? I'm guessing. No. Because you I never hear, coughed one out. But the cough happens, then the fart happens. Yeah, it's like a chain reaction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it would be a pattern if I like really tried to do it. Yeah. Oh, it would be like cough, fart, cough, fart, cough, fart, cough, fart. <laughs> it wouldn't be simultaneous ever. Like you cough, but try to hold back the cough, and then you fart, then try to hold back the fart, then the rest of the cough comes out. Yeah, you would just end up imploding, bro. Out. You'd yeah. end up I don't think that yourself. many stuff can come out of your holes at once. Multiple things can go in, but I don't think multiple things can go out. How do you know Simultaneously. That? Seen a couple of videos, a couple of tutorials. <laughs> I wonder if they, they like flamed him afterwards or everyone was just as quiet as they were in the House of Commons after that. After that speech, everyone just going. I feel like the <laughs> there's like a few small group chats of friends in the House that, of Commons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, yo. Did, yo. yo. did Pierre yeah, just say that? Like, he actually did it. He did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's like one guy that fucking bet him like 5k <laughs> you don't care you don't have the nuts to do this <laughs> like, he walked off and someone's like yo dude he's like i fucking know i know <laughs> no, i feel like that's how it went. oh my god they're doing they're gonna do some media after you know just like a little press conference yeah i'm gonna have to pass on it today guys yeah <laughs> yeah I've, but i haven't heard much of it like I no, saw I this, it was we pulled it when we pulled it up. It was a tweet, but when I saw it, it was on Six Buzz, and that was it. I like how many of these comments. There's not a lot loaded right now, but like I looked at it previously, and there's a lot of them that that were like, "It was an accident." Like, okay, I understand. You. Yeah, like yeah, but still also funny. it was an accident. News. Still very funny. Yeah, <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> it's not it's, funny. Like like no one should be mad at him. Yeah. Well. It's, yeah, if you think that, then <laughs> for sure. <laughs> no, man. Okay, if you say so, man. Like, okay. Unless you want us to be mad. Unless he, <laughs> unless he actually was like, yo, I'm gonna fucking, I'm <laughs> like gonna. If it was a bet, I'm gonna rip this. I'm getting that 5k from fucking John Donaldson over there. <laughs> His boys are at home watching. I like this comment. Yeah. <laughs> <Yo>! <laughs> poly, poly, <laughs> <laughs> I like this comment. Seriously, mistakes happen. Asking, acting like you've never heard a slip of the tongue before. Let's focus on intent and context rather than jumping at every misstep. Like, yeah, but also I'm not gonna Lock I'm out, not gonna bro. not laugh at that. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm not yeah. gonna not post that everywhere. I would love to see this person's tweet to if the nazi thing that's sorry yeah, do they, they have, have a blue yeah. check mark do they have a blue check they mark? do have a blue check mark. you could pay for them now though you, yeah I think you can only pay for them now oh. loser the the loser. yellow ones are like the ones that they give you now oh shit hmm. fucking weenus <laughs> it's a good use of that word yeah fucking weenus yeah i actually haven't used that in a really long time i have no I respect why. for weenuses if like you're the actual body part no <laughs> <laughs> like the type of, like the, the, the idea that comes with it. Because if someone's like a think dick, is a definition weenus? If you could drop a name and just be like, yeah, that's a definition. Fogel. Fogel. Like McLovin. Pierre mm, Polyev is kind of That's a weenus. Mm. Yeah. It, you know, he, he's more of like a dick. He's just a straight up dick. I think he's a cross between a ween and, weenus and a dick. A wick? Yeah. A ween. He's just a ween. He's a ween, yeah. Yeah, like a weenus slash ween is more like, I feel like they don't have any sort of malicious intent behind them. Mm, Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. McLovin. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't have any like agenda of being a dick. I feel like there's more to it than that though, because I feel like if to be a ween, you have to like think that you're cool or like at least doing some cooking in some way. Yeah. You just aren't. No. But weenus is like, is weenus dweeb? I think dweeb is, is what you just described. Where you're maybe like, there, there's no intent behind it. You're just see, kind of a, a, a little bit of a dork. I think see, dweeb a, is like sub. A, d- <laughs> a dweeb is like a submissive ween. Oh, perhaps 
We're gonna. I'm losing track now. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> so, okay. No, a dweeb is like he's not a mean person in any way, mm-hmm. but he's just like I don't know, a little quirky. You know what I mean? But a weenus is like he might be a little quirky, but he's also just an asshole a little bit. What did you say, weenus? S- submissive weenus. A submissive weenus <laughs> is a dweeb. <laughs> Submissive Weenus is a great name. That's a good band name. <laughs> it's a good band name right there. That might have been your... That's your, a modern uh, punk rock band, Submissive Ween. Submissive Ween. I might pay like three bucks to go to a show. Yeah. 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 Three bucks. Probably crazy mosh pits. No, it'd be like the softest mosh pits ever. Like, oops, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they just tap each other on the ass yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. A little Ween flicks. Good job, buddy. Yeah. You're killing it, buddy. Yeah, no. Fuck. No. It would definitely be aggressive. Submissive ween? Aggressive ween? Submissive ween would be aggressive. You think yeah, so? It's ironic. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Yeah, if someone was a submissive ween, they'd call their band name the Aggressive Weens. <laughs> Let us know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> I'd love to hear your take. <laughs> So this is the important discourse. <laughs> We're getting to the root of society's issues. Right this is where you enter someone in the comments being like, let's start a podcast in brackets. I, lo- I love that comment. Oh my God, I let's start a podcast. Comment. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. We get that all the time. Really? Yeah, yeah. No, you should get the comments being like, this is the only pair of guys that should have a podcast. We For every we, one of those, we get 10, let's start a podcast. It's not a terrible And also, ratio. I can't believe this is a podcast and this guy actually said the N-word. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just real. How many times did I say it today? Live? On cam? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Twice? Twice. Tw- nice. Yeah. Oh, bro, that's such a... That's light. Yeah, that's light. that's low capacity of, yeah. of what I'm capable of. As long of. as it was less than me mm-hmm. or more than me. If it was less than me, that'd be... Did I say it more than you? I think so. I didn't say it at all. On camera, at least. <laughs> 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 to piggyback off this story. So, the Canadian Parliament accidentally honored a Nazi with Zelensky and Trudeau applauding. So... <laughs> yeah, my theory is... Because nobody really talked about the N-word thing. But I, my theory is that because days later, the liberals then did this... That everyone was just like, all right, tie. It's a tie. Yeah, <laughs> we'll yeah just they just canceled on. each other out. Yeah. I don't know. What's worse, Nazi or saying the N-word? Accidental Nazi or accidental N-word. Oh, this isn't... A, he meant to be a Nazi. He meant guy. to be a Nazi. <laughs> this guy was not <laughs> an accidental did. Nazi. That was I feel terrible for the... There's definitely at least one Nazi that was accidental. That didn't mean to be a Nazi. He's it's like that grandma who was like a secretary. In like a concentration camp, and she oh got God. she got arrested. Like she's like ninety year old, ninety years old. She got arrested like That's tough. two years ago. Or something. That's tough. That wasn't an accident though either. But uh, Speaker Anthony Rhoda has apologized for calling a Nazi soldier a Ukrainian hero. Nice, <laughs> Yar Yaroslav Hunka, ninety eight year old. It was called the Ukrainian and Canadian hero and got applause from Trudeau and Zelensky. And then they found out he was a fucking Nazi. That's a great pose, dude. <laughs> dude, no. <laughs> like, right on. <laughs> and the one above it, what you were just on, they were some people were clapping and it looked like they had single hands up. <laughs> this photo? Yes. Like the lady in black looks like she's hailing oh homie. it's like a it's a hesitant heil yeah <laughs> she just kind of has her hand up yeah. like this yeah she's just like i'm clapping yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit of context for oh there's story. no context needed this is just i mean i feel like there has to be like we have to talk about how this happened okay yeah 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 so Zelensky was in town um and they were like fuck who do we have that's like a ukrainian war veteran that we can honor because it's sort of a little bit of continuity yeah. there. Well, we the, got this Nazi. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh, this guy's a World War II veteran. He fought for Ukraine. Let's bring him on by. Nobody thinking about who Ukraine was fighting. 
in the Second World War. Like, it's so fucking simple. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> that, like, <laughs> this guy fought for Ukraine. Woohoo! In World War II. Oh, <laughs> How many layers of people did that have to go through right? before, before they actually were like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's definitely great to have on. The crazy thing is, I don't even think it was like about that. I think it was like, it was like this because it was the the this guy took sole responsibility. This the speaker of the house brought him out, and they were like, and he was like, let's honor this guy as like a ceremonial thing. So I don't think it went through right. like the political offices, but even then, two it's two connections. You're like World War Two, Ukraine. Who are they fighting? Russia. Who are we friends with in World War Two? Also Russia. So wait, was. Was Russia in World War II also on the Nazi side? No. Russia was on our side. Russia was on our side. But like a big part of Ukrainian independence. So Ukraine and Russia have just always butted heads. Yes. They can never get along. However, at one point in time, we were boys with Russia and Ukraine was not. That's another thing I'm not tapped into, man. The war? <laughs> the world. The world, yeah. Yeah. For the longest Politics, time, whatever. I would judge how good the war was going based on if the gas prices were going up down. <laughs> like if the gas prices went down i was like i guess it's getting better that's the only part that i like kind of maybe yeah sort of maybe understood i just always have known russians to be bad guys i've never seen a russian be portrayed as like a good person yeah and all the movies are always oh yeah are always bad yeah they're always bundled up in like big fur coats. Yeah. They kill Apollo Creed in the 80s. Not yeah. a movie guy. No, but that's that's um, Rocky. Rocky, yeah. right? Yeah. The only reason I know Apollo Creed is because <laughs> So unrealistic. Creed. This Russian dude literally kills Apollo Creed. D's black boxer, amazing at what he does, beat Rocky previously, kills him via fists in the ring. And then Rocky, this five foot ten Italian dude, just kills this stone cold Russian. Wait, does he specimen. kill him in the end of the movie? I've no, never he doesn't watched. kill him. He just beats him in a fight. Then okay. Rocky beats him. Okay. Yeah. We're Rocky and, and Creed boys. After the first or second, they were frenemies. Movie. They be, they became Frenemy. friends after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't really know content. I've seen two of the Creed movies. I've seen the first one. Michael no, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, bro. I'm not really like tapped into much. I haven't really even seen Rocky. I've just seen the only reason why I've seen that Rocky. I think it's like Rocky Four. Also, like I, I've only seen. Oh like, shit! So yeah, I haven't even seen like I didn't the lead up to it. But the only reason why I watched it was because during the Super Bowl in 2012 there was a blackout, and the only other thing on while well, the Super Bowl was on was Rocky Four. So I just was switching. Between when did the, the Super Bowl get blacked out? 2012, when the Niners are playing the Ravens. You're a Niners guy, right? Yeah. Hmm. And then there was a blackout in the Super Bowl. Lights went out. Yeah. Were you crying? Yes. While I, watching Rocky, Rocky Four. Yeah. <laughs> but it was such a fucking because I was tears of sadness because the Niners lost, but tears of joy because I was watching Rocky beat the fuck out of the <laughs> Russian. So I was like, a little part like the Italian part of me was like, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> this fucking guy. Look at this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking kill this guy. <laughs> Rocky talking out of the side of his mouth. Adrian. Adrian. <laughs> See, I know I know that part. I know that little quote. But yeah, yeah I haven't fucking watched that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else you probably haven't seen because it never aired. This next headline we got. Um, Chicago TV news crew was robbed at gunpoint while they were reporting on a string of robberies. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a bunch of robberies going down in the west end of chicago i believe or south end chicago's west town neighborhood there was a bunch of robberies going on so around 5 a.m this news crew for a radio uh television station went out to report on it and they did the story and then once they were done filming these guys came and <laughs> robbed the cameras from them and took off so the story never aired <laughs> Did they hurt them or anything? <laughs> no, they weren't hurt. They're fine. They okay. also stole some personal items as well from them. But yeah, like three guys came out from a SUV and then just. So what they take from them? All guys. their camera shit. All their camera shit and some personal stuff. Probably. How the fuck are you gonna make a profit off that shit, bro? Hey, I'm selling this fucking tens of thousand Studio. dollar 
yeah, camera true. on uh, Facebook Marketplace for 150 Two hours bucks. after one was stolen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you knew exactly who these guys were. <laughs> sell it to the rival rate uh, television station. Yeah. Sell it Maybe back they worked to the, for them. Sell it back to the station. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of fucking genius, though. Like, just get them right at the source. People are going to hear about these robberies going on. It's like, no, they're not. Yeah. We're going to steal. They're gonna, Unless it's from me. Being yeah. shot on this camera, they're not knowing shit. Yeah. I like how they waited for them to be done telling the story. Because you then, imagine they're just at the, at the, the corner camera. of the street. <laughs> no, nah, the light's still on. They're still rolling. Let's just go do it. I was like, dude, don't interrupt it, bro. I always hate when people are in the back making fun yeah, of people. Yeah, I'm not trying I mean? to Let's be have like, some class. I'm not trying to be cringe right yeah. now. Yeah. I'm just trying to get my lick and get yeah. out of here. That is true. That's a tough thing to sell. Yeah, bro. Because if I'm buying a ten thousand dollar camera, it's not on marketplace. No, who needs those big fucking things? Yeah. And like, like you can't walk into Henry's <laughs> and cop one of those, can you? No, no, I don't think you can. Yeah, what? Yeah. And then you see one on Facebook Marketplace minutes after <laughs> it was taken from the local news. Value station. fifteen thousand. I'll give you a great deal. Seven grand. Don't they usually have like the big ass logo of the of the news? <laughs> KX ninety four seven on the it's side. Cu- it's custom, it's just... <laughs> like an engra- not engraved. Chicago's but, like, favorite morning show, just on yeah, the side and the channel slogan. seven. <laughs> <laughs> channel seven news. <laughs> it was yeah, just they're... donated to our community center. Yeah, and I took it home and I'm selling it now. Oh, like they're Robin Hood. They stole it and yeah. they give it to like a youth yeah. center that's trying to like. Youth film exactly. like, group center. Youth film sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah, that does sound. <laughs> that sounds crazy. <laughs> you like youth films? I don't watch movies, remember? Right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say? That was a good cop out, yeah. This is the most ironic thing I've ever fucking No, it's hilarious. Seen. It's like, I don't know what to compare it to. <laughs> Fuck, like... Why would they go out at five in the morning? Were they just trying to have it ready to air on probably like morning news? Yeah, and do a live. Yeah, at least that way you could get the story out. That'd be crazy. And then they'd rob you after. That'd be an even bigger story. That'd be better. They're reporting on robberies, and mm-hmm. then as they're wrapping up the story, someone just fucking <laughs> takes their shit. Christine, <laughs> Christine, <laughs> Christine, you okay? <laughs> And then okay, we've the, lost connection and then with Christine. There's the delay on the other end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I'm not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just got robbed. They just <laughs> took all of our stuff. I think it was them. <laughs> this is a great quote. Uh, this episode was the second robbery this month involving a Chicago news crew after a WLS TV photographer was assaulted and robbed on August 8th while preparing to cover a weekday afternoon news conference on Chicago's west side. West side. So so they're calculated. I mean... Sort of, kind of, maybe, not really. Yeah. Dude, I think there might be something bigger going on here. I think these crime rings are starting to control the news. You know what I mean? They know that their people are cracking down on these robberies, and they're like, hey, they keep posting pictures of our faces on the news, and that's how we get caught. Because then people can know, can identify who we are. So let's just kill the problem right at the source. Yeah, just, next thing you know, it's a string of fucking arsony. Just, just lighting, up, lighting up all the news fucking places on fire. Yeah. Fucking lamestream media. It's just mm-hmm. Rudy Giuliani and a poo shiesty. <laughs> <laughs> Running a crime ring out of the Chicago's <laughs> West Side. <laughs> oh, we don't fuck with Giuliani over here, right? <laughs> Do a lot of people get caught with arsony? Is that like a normal thing? It's not a normal thing. I think. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I guess like you know, murdering I think you have to be people good are, at isn't it. normal either. Like, I think it's pretty easy to get caught from arson because it's like, how else would the fire start unless someone started it? It'd have to be some pretty like freak accident, like you left the stove on or something. So you'd have to be smart with like how you. Because I heard this one story from a friend of mine who's at a party. This is in Ottawa. Okay. And, you know, they're just like doing their thing, whatever. It was in their backyard. Everyone knows each other at this party. It wasn't like a huge fucking Project X thing or whatever. Okay. 
and then he said this random dude was kind of just posted in the corner had a drink in his hand a backpack on wasn't pink but he had a backpack on and then you know people will kind of looked at each other and they're like yo who the fuck is this guy like posted in our party and they went up to him and who's this fucking they're like hey man like, <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah they bum a smoke off him but um yeah they asked like yo like who are you what are you doing here and i forget what the conversation went like but long story short probably like an hour later the guy left right after that conversation an hour later or so they hear a knock on the door and he kept knocking on the door until someone came when someone came there's no one there but when they opened the door both cars in the driveway were just up in flames what yeah and apparently it happened like a few times in that neighborhood over however long and no one knew who this guy was no and it's crazy that he would just show his face you know what i mean He's just a serious And it's arsonist. weird that, yeah. And it's weird that he would just pull up to a party and he's like, oh, I'll catch a vibe before I light the shit on fire. <laughs> he's trying to see if he fucks with you guys. Yeah. He's like, are these guys a good hang? And he's like, nah, fuck these guys. Terrible hang. Yeah. Gonna light their fucking cars Put on to fire. hang this fucking. <laughs> Gonna light this Nissan Altima <laughs> on fire. No, it's crazy. Why did I think of a, of a Nissan when I was thinking of what kind of car would be on fire? They're just such a, <laughs> they're just such a flammable car. I feel like the SUV Not flammable, there's just more. such a car you look at and you're like, I'd like to light that shit on fire. <laughs> you look at a Nissan, you're like, I want to blow that up. I feel like every time you see like clips of people rioting, there's a Nissan. A <laughs> Nissan just getting flipped. <laughs> and it's usually like the beige colored old Ultimas. It's part of their marketing strategy. The Maybe. C- like the CEO of Nissan's like, yo, there's a riot about to go down. There's a protest going on in this city. Get as many Nissans as we can out there. It's free. It's free marketing. See, that's it's a terrible publicity. marketing idea because <laughs> it's like like you have someone like me being like there's another fucking ultimate <laughs> some about riots going down where it needs, wherever there's a nissan ultima there's a protest i think it's good marketing though because there's that one guy that tries to push over a fucking nissan rogue and they just can't and like sturdy fucking car it's a strong fucking car they're right live there. on the news and then homie <laughs> can't do it over he just looks over just being like she don't fucking serious <laughs> I wish this wasn't four wheel drive and so hard to punch. <laughs> <laughs> wish there wasn't zero percent financing on this. Fight. <laughs> too sturdy, too cheap. You can ride with it. Oh, you know. I can't light on fire because it's not a gas vehicle. It's all eco friendly, battery powered. Oh, Fuck. damn it! Nissan's back Fuck. at it again. What happens when you light a big ass battery on fire? I'm pretty sure fire. it can still light on Does fire. Does it combust yeah. like like gasoline, though? Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> Why Emphasis is it combust? On... It's two in one right there. Yeah, you made it sound like... That's how you said it. Like it was two words. I was doing an imitation. I just put I just put emphasis on bust. I you turned it into cum bust. <laughs> that should be in you. <laughs> like saying, I'm about to combust. I feel like there's some weirdos that might say that shit. Yeah, you're right. It's weird. Yeah, yeah don't say stupid. that. Don't say that. Stupid. stupid idea. No, but like... No, yeah. no, no. It's stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. It's stupid. I'm over it. Don't talk about it anymore, please. <laughs> uh, okay. This next headline we got. The 1% of Tinder was a dating app or the dating app launches a $500 per month option for elite users. So you get access to the absolute best of Tinder for $500 a month. It's an exclusive to, you know, you can already pay for Tinder, right? Yeah. You yeah, get you, like more swipes and shit. Yeah. You know, so there's like a level above. Why'd that. you say it like that? You look like the kind of guy that would pay for Tinder plus. I've actually never had Tinder. Yeah. Never. You're a grinder guy. Yeah. Yeah, right on. Um but yeah, anyway, sorry. You can pay for so you can a, pay for Tinder. T- you can pay for Tinder. I think it's like thirty dollars a month. Yes, thirty dollars a month for Tinder Plus. And then now there's Tinder Select and it's five hundred dollars a month. That's six grand a year. You're down bad, bro. 
and the benefits are not even that great. You get, uh, people like you will see your photo unburied and their likes you grid. Okay. People you like, um, where you'll remain for seven days and you'll get a special select badge on your profile. So everyone will know you have enough disposable income to spend $6,000 a year on Tinder. That's, and you get to message people that don't match with you. So if you don't match with someone, but you like them, you could still message them. But people can opt out of that too. Yeah. So you, yeah. If you also have, that's Tinder, an L. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. If you have Tinder select, you could also be like, no, I don't want unsolicited messages from strangers, which is a weird thing to not. It's a weird to like not want messages from strangers when that's the whole point of the app is to meet strangers. But also too, it is very creepy that you can message someone who clearly didn't swipe right on you. <laughs> Forgetting something. <laughs> like, what is that? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. noticed that you didn't swipe right on me. Just, I have a great just personality. Back. I know I'm fucking ugly. I'm a but nice I have a great guy. Personality. Yeah. Hmm? Oh. You're almost just. Uh, yeah. You're almost just like paying to DM someone on Instagram. Yeah, you can do that for free. Yeah. Zero bones. Yeah. Paying five hundred dollars. Okay, like. You need to be like. I feel like it's it's not like getting a relationship. It's you're a sex addict if you're paying five hundred dollars that's the other thing though um you submit you have to apply for this and you have to prove that you're seeking out a relationship how do you prove that exactly i promise (laughs) i promise i just want a little girlfriend really 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 lonely i just want a friend the fuck that's true you what if you're saying like hey I'm genuinely seeking out a relationship, just not monogamous. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. Could have 47 yeah. girlfriends. That's a lot of money. Six grand a year. Yeah. You know how many prostitutes you can get for six grand a year? You ever ordered a prostitute? No. You lying to me, Jacob? No. No. You can get one. One for really good game. one. <laughs> one real, like one that Charlie Sheen banged. That's what you can get. Charlie Sheen, bro. I haven't heard that fucking name in a minute. Yeah. He'd be on this shit. Yeah, he'd be on. <laughs> but I just don't understand like why you would. Um, It does seem like. I'm trying to picture the type of people that would be on Tinder select. Right. Yeah. It's not going to be. It's not going to be the most attractive people. On no. There. It's going to be people no. that are struggling. Or you could be really good looking, but just fucking weird (laughs) yeah you know because 500 bucks a month bro you could spend that on like upgrade anything go spend get a couple drinks at the bar and like just try it irl yeah you guys ever see the what was the netflix show called it was like black mirror no it literally had tinder in the name of the show. Oh. The Tinder. Oh, it was like a fuck. Oh. Was it a documentary or a show? <laughs> it was a documentary about the guy who like scammed a bunch of women on yes. Tinder, right? Yeah. Did you ever see that shit? No. Dude scammed like probably a dozen women. How do you out scam of, like, people on Tinder? What do you mean? So he basically had this persona being he was he was a son to a billionaire, multi billionaire guy. So like all his pictures were next to private jets and fucking Lamborghinis. Was McLaren's, it him or was whatever. he catfishing? It was him. Like he it was he had pictures in front of these things. But yeah, so basically he would he would actually fully date them and like fly them out places and be like, I love you, baby, whatever. Like actually, you know, get with these women and have like a genuine genuine relationship with them but then all of a sudden he would be like hey um i got into us with some really bad people (laughs) i'm uh i'm like fucking held captive or some shit like this and i need to i need to pay them x amount of dollars and like I don't know what his excuse was. It was yeah, it was, it was shit like his that. cards like, weren't working or like yeah, like the IRS froze my assets. Yeah, some shit like that. Horrific debt, and I need you to help me out. I'm yeah, like, I'm like stuck in 
fucking Antigua and I need to to buy like a plane and ticket. They would wire him. Yeah. Bro, this one lady sent like 10 racks multiple occasions. Wow. Over like a couple weeks. Like apparently they're interviewing these survivors and <laughs> were <laughs> like <laughs> Cause it, fuck, it, it I don't is, know. It is kind of stupid. It is like, stupid. oh man, you know, I don't know. Yeah, fucking, they were interviewing them after, and they were like, he must have been really good at manipulating people, though. Obviously, yeah, yeah. Um, she like was taking out loans and shit. Jeez, yeah, to pay this dude that she met on Tinder. That's such an elaborate plan because you would have you would need enough time to surpass. Where you can have that kind of connection with someone where they're willing to yeah. dig into their bank account with you. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, like... Like, how much money do you think he actually netted after spending money on them to come fly out, meet up with them, doing all these extravagant things know. to come across That's a as good a question. billionaire? And then when they wire him a combined, let's say, 50K, maybe he only nets, like, 20. And then he just keeps doing that as his... That seems like much more work than just getting a job. <sighs> Yeah, I I couldn't fucking do that shit. That's even crazy. if I didn't feel bad for. Him. I feel like everyone in this room feels. The he same. netted ten m's, bro. No way. Net ten mil. That's what it says. An estimated ten million, according to the Times of Israel. The Tinder swindler. That's what it was. Oh, I've heard of this. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. The Tinder swindler. Oh, he made just... a habit of sending increasingly unhinged WhatsApp voice messages, even sending one to the filmmakers when he learned about the Tinder swindler. I thought he got locked up, though, for a little. Possibly. I just know there's some dads out there when they're scrolling on <laughs> Netflix just being like, well, I'm telling Apparently, you, kids. Oh, he was released in prison after only five months. <laughs> five months. He went to jail for five months. That's it. That's light for fucking... Getting ten and he, mil. He, ten and he mil, got yeah. This perma is still, banned. He got banned from Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Be, I'm sure if you if it. you fucking. What if he gets Tinder select? Though? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like I'm sure if if Tinder like saw this guy and he was like, "Yo, I'll pay you five hundred bucks a month." Dude, he'd probably want to get on Tinder select. He's like, "I know these guys have money that I'm going after now." Yes. Yeah. They're willing to spend five hundred bucks a month on Tinder. They're gonna be willing to spend some money on me when I'm being held captive by fucking jihad. <laughs> like, <laughs> I do f find that it's kind of like having like Twitter blue now, though, isn't it? Kind of lame. Like whenever I saw people with like Tinder yeah. platinum, even I would be like, eh. yeah, there's no, there's that? versions sure. of Tinder. Uh, sure. yeah, there's you... one that's like oh, yeah. thirty dollars a month. That's their previous previous high. What do you tier. gain from that? Yeah, oh. it's just like it's no, like unlimited no ads, likes, so. no ads. Shit. But that doesn't bother me, bro. That doesn't bother me because when you're swiping away and you get that max likes, you're like, you're right. I should. Yeah, that's what I mean. I should go do something. <laughs> she go outside. I sh yeah, I, I should go on, jerk on, off. On, now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. it's been a lot. <laughs> It'd be a better use of my time at this point. <laughs> I never got on Twitter, man. You'd like Twitter. You'd like it. I don't need any more social media. I'm I think you would, though. Actually, drowning. you spend all your time on TikTok anyway. You said, right? <sighs> this is just yeah. like more curated. You'd follow people. It probably helped me learn games. how to read a little bit better too. It's a lot more toxic. You might really you might learn about the world. You said you aren't on shit. I don't, I don't know shit. Though. So I get all my news. I feel like I know a lot, but I don't know anything. <laughs> you know a little about a lot. Kind of. Mm -hmm. I feel that that's true about me, I think. No, you know a good amount. But like about a, like a wide range of shit. Yeah. I feel like we're on the same level where no, we like you, know a, a little bit, a lot. Of, I just know slightly more than a, a little. You, you, I think you know a good amount of a small range of things. Mm -hmm. And I know a little bit about a wide range of things. Yeah. that's. You bad. also carry yourself as a smart person. Yeah, you do. Hmm. Yeah. You are, I, though. I like to read. Yeah. Yeah. Like when I, read. when I when I met you, I was like, oh, this guy would fucking annihilate me and any sort to of fuck argument me up in grade 10 debate yeah <laughs> any, any, anything up. i where i need to articulate myself well 
<laughs> I'm getting fucking flamed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's also from video games, though. I think more <laughs> than it is from learning. Maybe. Yeah, Colin just calls you the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know how hard it is to win an argument on in voice chat without using the n-word <laughs> that's how i learned that shit <laughs> so crazy. oh so you so you so you didn't say the n-word yeah yeah, yeah exactly nice nice but i had to like try real hard to like get, <laughs> not say get, it no uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. so you mentioned the pop-up you had here yeah it was for your brand. Nice guy, dude. I love the brand, dude. Thank you. Stuff. You make dope shit. Thank I like. you. Actually, we have one of your fucking... You get you gifted us that. We'll oh, shit. It. Yeah. I forgot that I did that even. I kind of did a shitty job on it. I got to hang around you more when you're drunk. You just give people shit. That's you, an issue. You gave me that. You gave me the N-word pass. Just giving everything, dude. Yeah. Like, if we ever go out together or something... Yeah. As soon as, like... I even smell alcohol and we go into a bar. It's like, I'll buy you a drink, you a drink. Well, you're one of those guys. Yes. And then I'll wake up and I'll look at my bank account and it's like eight different transactions totaling up to $300. I don't do that as much anymore, but yeah. I used to. And it was, a, it was fucking nice. You're just a nice guy. I don't know if it's a... An... Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I gave that to you. I did it like the night before because I, I don't know, John was like, oh, you got to have something like hanging up here. But You're just easy to take advantage of. You're not a nice guy. You're just. Yeah, you're submissive just, guy. You're a submissive guy. Submissive you guy. should rebrand submissive to submissive. Guy. Sub guy. <laughs> that's your, that's your Sub guy. That's your pride month collection. <laughs> there you go. Month of June. There you go. Yeah, man, it would be like studded collars and fucking whole lot of black and silver. That's so funny because that's, 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 that. that, that's the Oakland Raiders <laughs> colors and they're like the most manly like team. I like, guess. Yeah, <laughs> they do look mean. They do look mean. That's another thing I'm not tapped into. I don't really watch football. Yeah, I figured. You figured? Yeah, mm. I, I picked up on that. Mm. Well, I'm like too pussy for it. No, I just... <laughs> the way you said that. I feel like tremble in your voice. Am I like too pussy for it? I'm, um, you're probably right. You're probably right. Um, so what, what is Nice Guy? So, I don't know. It was kind of a weird thing how it started. Um, I bought these pair of yellow corduroy pants when Tight. I was thrifting in Toronto. Yeah, big football guy. Big football guy. <laughs> Show up on Sunday with my buffalo chicken dip and yellow corduroy pants. <laughs> um, But uh, yeah, like they were really cool to me. To me. The corduroys? Yes. Not football. Um, But uh they had like you. They had gross stains on them, and it, I tried getting them out. I bought them, obviously, but I couldn't get them out. And I had been wanting to get back into drawing because I used to do that a lot in high school. Um, and I was I had been drawing this like little character or whatever, like cartoony looking shit. Because I'm not that good at drawing. I can do like you used to just. No, you, you were you like the kid that would like draw boobs and then you're like fuck I have to cover this up and then just draw like an anime character you're like it's art. No, 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 no. I I wish I was even good enough to do that. So what would you draw just like just boobs. Just boobs. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> not um, dicks. No, <laughs> I'm I'm like I'm not as artistic as much as I am like a perfectionist if that makes sense. Like I can I can if I have a picture I can look at the picture and copy it really well. Ah. But if you told me to just, I don't know, draw a person or draw whatever, I would, I'm shitting the bed. Like I, yeah. Like I don't know. You end up drawing Bugs Bunny. Exactly. Yeah. From memory. And then it ends up looking like. And it's Lola Bunny. Just Bugs Bunny with boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to try and tie in the fucking Walmart story. I ended up drawing <laughs> it. A fucking big black lady with a pink backpack on. But. Um, with the text box <laughs> how big is your pee pee how big is your pee pee um, <laughs> that was the first time I got suspended <laughs> that <was> a- <laughs> that's on a shirt later <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> what was that shirt that you guys uh, said, oh, were talking Emma? about? My mom poops. Or My some mom shit? poops. I'd fucking buy that. You like that? Yeah. Because I, I came up with the idea when I found out my mom poops. That's the backstory. When did you find that me. out? We were in Florida, and we were gonna go on a boat trip. <laughs> <laughs> See, like I thought, I thought it was gonna be a, a lot like further back. Oh no, this was last year. Yeah. Fire. Um. Yeah, I've never even heard my mom fart. I still think this was the only time she pooped. But we were in Florida. And we we're gonna go on a boating trip. It was super early in the morning, and she was like super tired. And her boyfriend was like, "Why don't you just have a coffee?" And she's like, "Oh, I can't have a coffee. It's we're gonna go on a boat for like six hours." I'm gonna poo. She didn't even say that. She just left it at we're gonna be on a boat for six hours. And I was like, "What is so? What's the big deal? Why can't you have a coffee, mom?" He's like, "Don't make me fucking spit it out for you, Jake." And I was like, "No, for real? You too?" <laughs> and then she just didn't say anything the rest of the trip. She was embarrassed. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, what? Still pooped on the boat, but yeah. Apologize to her. Sorry, mom. You made her embarrassed for having a shit. Yeah. And you made a shirt about it. Yeah, my mom pooped. Well, we haven't made it yet. Oh. Are you going to give her one when you make it? My mom poops? Yeah. She's going to say, I poop. I poop. (laughs) There you go. The one of one. The one of one. I poop. In quotes. If it becomes a really like viral shirt somehow. <laughs> Just Times New Roman text. Yeah. <laughs> my mom poops. I poops. And then people are going to be like, oh, that's just a fucking rip off of the my mom poop shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, no, I'm the mom I am the on mom. that shirt. I'm the mom. I am the one who poops. I'm the one who poops. <laughs> so you, you're saying about the corduroys? Yes, fuck. <laughs> um, so yeah, like so it, I derail that conversation. They had they had bad stains on them, poo stains. They could oh, have been. Shit. They could Literally. have been shit stains. Um, so I got them and I I painted on them. They ended up cool, but um, I don't think I ever even wore them to be honest. But uh, I posted them on my Instagram story, and people were like, "Oh yeah, that's so cool, so cool, whatever." And I like had kind of wanted to make clothes at some point or just do something creative because I always felt like I was, but um big football guy. Yeah. I was too into football at the time. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, I did want to do something creative at some point. I had like I guess I didn't really have any sort of outlet to I don't know, express myself and whatever. Um so <laughs> I uh I like ended up you know wanting to make clothes. I thought it was a cool idea. Um and that little character that I was doodling when I was like trying to get back into drawing. Um I don't know, I just he was just like a little nice dude, a little nice guy. Mm-hmm. And I kind of based the aesthetic off You're of that. Doodling fantasizing doodling. class, drawing a little nice yeah, guy. A little yeah. nice guy. Um and like I don't know, I thought it was a cool um name for a brand. Um except like I'm here now and sometimes I'm like, oh fuck. I chose like a gender as it's pretty as, fucked up. Yeah. I well, I don't know, like like I've gotten DMs time. It before. Was time, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was fucking last year. <laughs> but yeah, like I've gotten DMs from girls being like, When are you gonna make something with nice girl on it mm. no like, it's got to be like the opposite and i'm like fuck i'm like it's that's not the name of the brand first of all and yeah. like that doesn't exist yeah i'll make clothes for you yeah but like i don't know <laughs> i want to make make stuff for for women as well like i i feel like most of my stuff is is unisex like it's anyway unisex, yeah. yeah it's unisex anyway but it just has the word guy on it but i don't know um so yeah, then like um, I started off by doing custom pants. You know, someone would give me an idea, or they'd tell me to just have fun and paint on these pants. Um, and I basically saved a little bit of money from there um, to fund actually making um, clothes. And then yeah, I just kept going from there i guess yeah 
I like I like when it's like organic like that, like because I feel like most people are like, oh, I want to like start a business and it's gonna be about this. Here's the name. Here's the branding. I'm gonna make these kinds of clothes for you. It's yeah. Just like, I was just doing what I like thrifting. Bought a pair of dirty old corduroys. Shit stains. <laughs> Had some shit stains on them. I painted over them. Sold them. No one knew. And that's how I started my hustle, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was net like starting it was never really about money. Um, if it was about money, I would have fucking stopped a long time ago. Right. Yeah. Probably the after the first drop I ever did. Cause like I don't see a lot of profit, man. Yeah. You know, whenever whenever money comes in from it, it's it's basically going back into it. Um yeah, that makes sense. I feel yeah. like it's like anything when you start out. Yeah. Um, plus, like, I don't know. It's so young right now. It's like I, I released my first pair of hats. Like, I think it was like July. That's crazy. It feels like it's been around for longer than a year. Yeah, it does. It, it feels longer than a year for me, even. Do you feel like you're aging quicker? <laughs> Fuck. Sometimes. Yeah. My back hurts, man. My knees hurt. Well, that's because what that's not because the clothes time feels like it went fast and slow at the same time if that makes any sense at all you know i hear people say that i never understood it though no yeah i hear people say shit like that like for example i don't know like the pop-up pop-up yeah. feels like that was forever ago See, it feels like it was kind of forever ago, but it was, I don't know, a couple months. I get what you mean. Like the same situation could feel like forever ago, but it also just feels like it was yesterday. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like it depends on the context. You know what I mean? Like we're both alive and well and healthy. So mm -hmm. for me, it's like that was forever ago. But if like one of us were to tragically die, we would have been like, dude, that was just yesterday. We were doing a pop up together. Yeah. Fuck. No, it like... I don't know. I feel like my concept of time is just fucking ruined. I don't know why. It's probably because it doesn't exist. Holy shit. Are we going down a rabbit hole right now? Do you want to go down a rabbit hole right now? Don't tell me what a good time. <laughs> but no, I guess, yeah, time doesn't really fucking exist. No. Here we get. See, that's another thing on TikTok. I get fucking stuck in some shit. Yeah. Conspiracies or like theories of how fucking time works and all this fucking shit it's give me one i don't hear any of these i just hear people say and i like to buy into the hype Cons i don't know okay then I'll, I'll do one like about time more like just, i don't know there's this theory where the past the present and the future are all happening at the same time it's not like like the future isn't something that we're going towards it's happening right now how the fuck does that make sense? I don't I don't know. And it okay, then, that's the thing with these fucking guys. They make it sound so convincing. And then you start telling it to other people, and other people are like, how does that make sense? It's like, I don't know. The guy made it seem like like the flat earth videos. You ever seen those? <laughs> Super convincing. <laughs> Super what? Con very con some of them are very well made. No, the only but you're like, that's not true. The only one that I saw that fucking dude, I was laughing so hard. They had some experiment set up with a light. That would go straight and basically like i don't know how they drew it out if i could draw it out right now i i would but if if the earth was flat they'd be able to see the light at the same height in x amount of distance oh i'm not saying i believe that, it oh no 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 i know but yeah. I, i'm saying this was this was like one of the only things that this i've was seen debunking the flat earth theory. yeah and <laughs> no but it was these dudes that were as if flat that has earthers. to be a video yeah. oh okay <laughs> and they were like yo we're gonna fucking prove the world wrong right now fucking whatever right and they're like if we see this light the earth is flat if we don't it's a circle mm -hmm. sphere mm -hmm. <laughs> they're like big build up they turn the light on and he's like <laughs> oh. yeah the, i can't see the light it's the end of this youtube channel guys thanks for coming Bro, along how do you recover this. from that <laughs> so funny. 
Props to like putting it out though. You know what I mean? That's commitment to the side. To Honestly, that. Take it, they yeah, they, they, <laughs> they could have disappeared after that. <laughs> but that would have happened, and then they would have had to have edited that. <laughs> like, yeah. like that would have looking at it again. <laughs> They're rewatching it and knowing what's gonna happen. I'm like, fucking Christ, man. Like uh, oh watching their God. stupidity live and out. You ever seen those like pictures or those tweets where it's like guys tweeting or like like messaging like flat earth society being like, yo, I, I have evidence, like I took this picture across like a lake and I can clearly see the other side of it. Like okay. there's no way there's a curvature of the earth. And then they're like they're like, oh, thanks for like, like submitting this. Like, we'll post it. We'll get it out to people. And then the next reply is just like, that was a picture from Minecraft, <laughs> like a cool texture pack. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, down to the wire means the very last possible moment, or to the very end. The very end.